January 11, 1838, the first public demonstration of telegraph messages is sent using dots and dashes at Speedwell Ironworks in Morristown, New Jersey by Samuel Morris and Alfred Vail. 1861, as the United States prepares for the Civil War, Alabama secedes from the Union. 1863, naval engagement near Galveston between the CSS Alabama and the USS Hatteras. 1897, M.H. Cannon becomes the first woman state senator in the U.S. as she is elected to office by the state of Utah. 1922, insulin is first used on humans to treat diabetes when Frederick Banting injects fellow Canadian Leonard Thompson, who is age 14. 1935, Amelia Earhart flies from Honolulu to Oakland, California, nonstop, of course. 1949, Los Angeles, California records its first snowfall. 1967, San Diego is granted an NBA franchise to be called the Rockets. The franchise would later move to Houston starting in the 1971-72 season. 1969, hooked on a feeling by B.J. Thomas Peaks at number five on the Billboard charts. 1973, the American League adopts the designated hitter rule. 1976, Dorothy Hamill wins her third consecutive national figure skating championship. 1982, Atlanta, Georgia, records temperatures below zero degrees Fahrenheit. 1990, Bobby Knight becomes college basketball's Big Ten winningest coach with 229 wins. 1991, at the Meadowlands Arena in East Rutherford, New Jersey, Ric Flair defeated Steen to win the NWA World Heavyweight Championship for the seventh time in his legendary career. 2002, at the 7th Critics' Choice Movie Awards, A Beautiful Mind wins Best Film. 2007, Arthur J.K. Rowling finishes the seventh and last Harry Potter novel in room 552 of the Balmoral Hotel in Edinburgh. These are just a few of the things that have happened today, January 11th in history. This has been Mr. Scott with Today in History. Thanks for watching.